Colombia and South Africa, take center stage, please. One of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The new Miss Universe is... South Africa! Well, that is uh, a Miss Universe, Demi Lee Nell Peters. Uh, she arrived back in South Africa yesterday for the first time since being crowned Miss Universe. And that was the moment. Congratulations. Moment my life changed. I get teary eyed every time I see that I'm video sure. clip. I can only imagine. I mean, what, what was going through your mind at that time? There's um, two questions I need to ask you. So, <laughs> so, so for, okay, no, actually three. So what was going through your mind at that moment? At that moment, Leanne, I was so content because I knew that I have given this my absolute everything and that there is nothing that I could have done differently um, to, to get that crown. So yeah. I was so content and I just knew whatever is supposed to happen will. Yeah. But it's been something I've wanted my whole entire life. So, Amazing. Amazing. Um, and the moment that, that South Africa, the name got called out, I, I was just ecstatic. Oh, the world just stopped. It, it did. just stopped. It, stopped it really did. Yeah. The other question is, what were you and Miss Columbia talking about? What could you possibly <laughs> be saying to question. one another at that time? <laughs> the golden question. Um, you know, I, I can't remember because <laughs> it, you everything just blacked out, but it was probably something in the line of good luck, just take calm, it's fine, you did I'm so sure. well. And she really did. She was such a strong competitor from day one, and I know how hard she worked for that as well. So. Yeah. Um, um, to have been standing there with her being the top two, um, I was so proud of her and I knew that she totally deserved being there. Then the third question, Steve Harvey. <laughs> yes. We know what he did the year before. So when you're standing there and uh, Miss South Africa is read out, did you for one moment think, God, I hope this guy didn't get it wrong again. <laughs> no, listen, I was ready to run. I've got the crown. I've got the set. And you were going to run off the I'm stage. Ready to run. It's like, ah, 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 ah. No, I'm no, keeping no. it this time. Oh, man, I can only imagine because he, he must have had immense pressure. But, you know, all of that aside, it is, it is a life-changing moment. And how has your life changed since that moment? I mean, I've moved to New York City. I'm based in New York now. Um, that is just... A dream on its own. I've been traveling to countries I've never been to before. I've been to the Philippines and Indonesia lately. Finally back in South Africa. Um, so I'm, I'm traveling a lot. You know, I'm an ambassador and a spokesperson for various organizations and causes. Uh, I've started Unbreakable, my campaign last year in South Africa. We actually have our first workshop for the year after this interview, so I'm very excited about that. Brilliant. And I hope to use this platform to really make a meaningful difference in the lives of, of women and, 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 and children. And I hope that this win will inspire each and every young girl, young boy, not just in South Africa, but all over the world, that if you have enough faith in yourself and if you believe in yourself and if you, if you are willing to work hard and be dedicated, anything is possible. Yeah, I, you know, I can, I can imagine because it doesn't matter what your dream is. And many people may criticize it and say, yeah, but it's a beauty pageant. Like, what is that? I mean, it doesn't matter. Everybody has a different dream. If we all had the same dreams, this would be one boring world. So, you know, with this comes... Um, the good work that can, can, you can do. I mean, this has given you a global voice now. Do you know what, Leanne? Many people may say, yes, it's just a beauty pageant, but to me, this is a stepping stone to where I want to be. This is a platform that I got given that I wouldn't have received on another, on another, um, on another platform, you know? So this, it really gave me a voice to be able to speak up for what I believe in and what I am passionate about. And I don't know, you know, how I would have been given a platform like this at only 22 um so i'm i'm so happy and this is truly a dream country so so this is the second time that south africa has ever walked away with this crown right yes that's so the correct. first please remind me the first time was, was it? margaret gardner in 1978 in 1978 uh, and i actually met her at the golden globes recently this is the next question <laughs> i need to speak to you how were the golden globes the golden globes i mean to me in the same meeting margaret was so special and walking the red carpet with her was yeah. just i think such a special moment for south africans um but being 
being in the same room as women of the likes like Oprah and Meryl Streep oh. and Angelina Jolie, you can just imagine. It's mind boggling. You think you have reached the heights of your career and then you meet, you know, you're in the same room as all these phenomenal women that are huge role models to me and you just realize how much work there still is left to you, be done. Your, your head must have been spinning from every direction. It's like, it no, was. is that, no, you got to be Who was the most excited person uh, or, or who were you most excited to actually see there? I was, I really wanted to meet Oprah. Yeah, I know. Um, and I know she has the school in South Africa, so, which she has done really great work. So I hope to get involved with that. So great. let's hold, hold thumbs. Yeah. Um, but her speech that she gave um, was that just... That was the most powerful speech I, I think. promise you standing in that room hearing that speech I had goosebumps all over my body yeah. everybody it was such a surreal moment standing there listening to her just indescribable incredible yeah. absolutely incredible <laughs> I I think that this is the most amazing thing so you leave South Africa next week so yes. I know that one of the big things you wanted was well I read a bra <laughs> yes. did you have the bra last night <laughs> not yet you haven't had a bra not yet no what but are they keeping you too busy here and they are are they, they making are you go to cocktail okay. functions when all you want to do is sit around a braai and have just a bourbos? <laughs> A choppy, a choppy. Oh, is that what you want? Just a choppy. Just a choppy. A chop with your dog. Yes. Now, what's the story with this dog of yours? Uh, do you know what? It's just my dog that I love so much and he loves me too and I miss him. Um, can't take him to New York because I'm forever traveling. So oh, it, would be, it would be so um, you know, unfair towards him having him over there. Yeah, so yeah. just my dog that I love a lot. He's just a dog who's made <laughs> yeah. the front page of every newspaper today. You've got to love it. You've got to see it. Maybe you go home I and show him. I have been yeah, on the road. He's on a couple of front pages. Oh. You've got to love this. Well. But now, <laughs> Just, just tell me now, you, you go back next week, what happens then? Are you just a, an am ambassador for the world? What, what is a Miss Universe? What do you do? Well, yes, Miss Universe is an ambassador and a spokesperson for various organizations. Miss Universe organization works very closely with Smile Train, um, as well as organizations that create awareness on HIV and AIDS. That's obviously also a very big um, problem in South Africa and, and in Africa as a whole. And anything that is, dear t that is close to South Africa would always be dear to me and I'd always love to help as much as I possibly can. Um, I, As I mentioned earlier, I've started my own campaign, Unbreakable, that I'm very passionate about Good. and I hope to use the Miss Universe platform to elevate that cause and just to, to take it global instead of just keeping it in South Africa. Well, listen, fantastic. We wish you the best of luck. You have done us proud. You really have. Um, in and amongst all the bad news that was surrounding us and at the end of last year, there was the story that broke. Uh, you got crowned Miss Universe, and honestly, it lifted the nation. Oh, so, well, I'm so thank happy. you for that. We needed that piece of good news, and, and let it continue through this thank year. You. Well done. You'll be back, I imagine, in May for Miss I, South Africa, I will definitely I be back as Brilliant. soon as I can. Excellent. So, yes. so enjoy <laughs> the skyscrapers of the world and come back Thank and tell us all those and stories. And the cold weather, it's so cold Yeah, in I believe New York. so. Yes. I believe that's just not fair. <laughs> I think it reached minus 14 at a stage in uh, about a few weeks ago. So wow. Wow. definitely a big adjustment. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, listen, you look tanned anyway, so I don't know. <laughs> whatever Indonesia. You <laughs> well, good on you. Demi Lee Nell peters talking to us about uh, her visit to South Africa. Uh, she will be hosting, as she's been saying, unbreakable workshops in both Soweto and Cape Town with members of the community and also revisiting victims of the Neisner fires and, and hopefully in and amongst all of that she'll have her chop right <laughs> okay thanks very very much thank you for having me all right